Welcome back, everybody. Let's uh, let's learn how to make some measurements on this scope. How to clean up the displays, get that thing so it's not rolling around, get rid of that um, data that was stored there, the purple signal, and just generally get to know how this uh, little wonder scope works. Now, as you as you recall, we talked about this purple screen. It's not actually a trace. It's a it's data stored from a previous measurement you made. Measurements can be stored and retrieved later on. You can view them while you're looking at this uh, system. So to get rid of it or to modify it, best way to do that is move down to the purple input here. It says X, and you notice it's flashing data because that's what's showing up down here is data. So I'm going to take it now. And I'm going to use the left and right arrows. Now we see it's minus data. Input, uh, input plus data, so it's adding the two signals together. Data minus input, subtracting the two signals. Input minus data, subtracting the two signals. Minus input, and off. Off is what we're looking for. So we want to make sure that this data, the purple line, is turned off. We don't need to see that. We're concentrating on this little sine wave right here. So the sine wave's got some issues. It's sort of not centered in the screen. It's rolling. It's not a not a good size. So let's set that all up. To set that up, we're going to go up until we get to the Y volts per division setting. Let's select that. And I think the first thing we should do is zero. Set up this thing uh, for the correct offset. So we're going to go to Y offset right here. And at this point, I'm going to disconnect the frequency source and just ground it out and you see here now we just have a line at ground that's a zero volt line so if we go to uh, y function go to y offset and now we're going to take that ground line and let's move it right down to the center center radical center line so that means zero volts right now is on the center that's a good way of starting it up now we're gonna i'm gonna unplug the signal from ground and plug it back into frequency. Now that it's in frequency, uh, we can see our signal is a little small. Let's make our signal a little bit larger. Okay, so we're going to go into YN again. We're going to move up to the Y ranges, select OK, and then we can use the arrow keys to increase the size to something that's good for this particular display. And that's too small. And that's not bad. That's a little too big. So let's let's stop at this size right here. Okay, that's great. Now it's also there's a lot of cycles per one wave per one screen. So let's fix that too. To do that, we're going to go down to XN, our time base XN. Select OK, and we're going to choose time base. OK, and now you can see this is selected. Now we're one millisecond per division, half a millisecond. 0.2, 0 0.1, 50, that eh, looks like about one, one screen worth, it's about 20 microseconds per division, and that's not bad. Now, of course, it's still rolling around. Why is it rolling like that? It's because we haven't got the, the trigger set correctly. So to set the trigger, we're going to move down to TR for trigger and select OK. We will move the arrow, the arrow keys up and down, we move it to threshold, we say OK. And now we use the arrow keys to set the threshold. And I see this little green line right here. That's a trigger threshold. It's below the lowest point on this sine wave. So we want to get up there. So I'm going to hit the right arrow until he bang. It's now within the train, uh, the, um, the voltage range of the sine wave. It's right there. Let's move it right up to about the middle. We move it to zero volts. So you can see right there, it is now triggering at about zero volts. So it's now triggering and going down and up from that point. Wonderful. Now, I don't get a full cycle out of my sine wave, so I'm gonna go back to YN, and I'm gonna change the range again to give me, no, oh, actually not YN, I think we're talking about XN, since we're talking about time base. We're gonna set this up for, oh, Something like that, and that looks really good. So now you see you've got a nice, stable, triggered sine wave, and the sine wave is about one division, two divisions, 
three divisions, about three and a half divisions. One, two, about three and a half divisions at 50 microseconds per division. And the amplitude is one, two, three, a little short of four divisions at one volt per division. So it's about four volts peak to peak. And that's how you set up the uh, waveform. Now at this point, I'd like you guys to go ahead and change your frequency around, adjust the waveform size, play with the trigger, and see if you can, uh, if you can bring your waveform back in again. Have fun.